the hell? I, I hit the wrong button. You hung up on it <coughs> in yeah. the middle of a wolf fart rant. Well, I didn't mean to. It was it was an act it was an act of Jeebus. <laughs> Jeebus made me do it. It wasn't my idea. Blame her. I know. God so dang it. Here did, I am. On did a, I resolve on an intellectual, that? Yeah. Well, I was on an intellectual Ooh. rant about wolves farting and who yeah. actually went up and questioned the wolf on if it farted. Yeah. And you disconnected me. You're welcome. Thank you. And see, <laughs> and I've got the re- remember the day when I had the rep- reputation of being a big computer hacker. And here we are seven, six, seven years later. I still can't fucking operate the damn software to run a radio program properly. <laughs> yeah. Well. I blame the pot. Damn weed. Anyway, welcome to the dork table. Yeah. And I Oh, are we at the dork table? Well, yeah, and go. get I've got I got Mary stapled to the table across the way over there. So she I can't escape. Stapled. She's my co hostage today. I might be a staple, but well, I'm not staple. Well, thanks a lot, Grimner, for giving us uh, this place to come and have a Dork Table podcast. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, Grimmy. And uh, we're at thereallibertymedia.com. So if you want to yeah. chat, we've got, hey, you're going to say hi to the, to the bots and the bodies, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, clothes are optional, to too, when you do this on the Internet. You can actually do this naked. And people won't even know until you tell them. Just saying. <laughs> you know. I was, was going to say something, but I'll just be here. I'll you. be right back to you. Start just this one. Spew okay. out a few names. i got to get a drink. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, while Flash is getting a drink, quick, everybody, hide. Okay. Right here in the RLM chat, which, by the way, if you're listening anywhere besides reallibertymedia.com or rlmradio.xyz, come on over to the realmedia.com channel, click on the, or join the chat, think of a nickname, say hey, say hi, say ho, well, don't say ho, because somebody will get assaulted or yeah. off-ended, but in yeah. any case, and flashes back, so yeah. don't talk about him anymore. Oh, that's uh, okay, talk about me. So, <sighs> then I the feel, list. then I'll feel like Barman, the Joe most Biden. Biden. Bot in the whole wide world. Just ask me. Barman. I'll tell you. We also got Beetle. Beetle. Hey, Beetle. Hey, Beetle. Beetle, 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 Beetle. Beetle. How you doing, Beetle? <laughs> and looky there, we got a cowboy <laughs> tech who oh, always hears pleasant tech. voices. I hope he never adjusts his hearing. Hmm. Grimner, the RLM guy, hey, don't Grimner. you know? As well as the lovely Moose Goyle, and Moose that is a dynamic duo from Freakers Ball. Ball that's on yeah. Friday nights here on RLF. We also Ooh. have the lovely Miss Kate from down in hey, Q. The big Q. Yeah, she is the Q, which, by the way, that apparently there is now a congressional resolution that says that Q is a cult. Wow. Okay. okay. Wow, you know, job security, apparently, because they don't have anything else to do. Mm. Although, as my uncle puts it, Mm. do you really want the government to be efficient at what it does? No. Because then we would totally be free. Well, they're going to get efficient pretty soon. It's coming. Mm. Just wait. Don't be in a hurry. They're going to... They're going to get a fish scent is what they're going to get. Go swim with them. <laughs> I also see anti. Anti. Is anti. Well, you know, that's ant eyes that are on their head, yeah. not on the top of their antennae. I, thought, I also no. see Asmodeus Asmos in the mm. chat as well as Chloe. Oh, Flash good. Flash somebody. Hey, Flash. See, that's me. That's right. That's, that's right. Oh. That'd be me, baby. Flash. That's right. Shit. Uh. <laughs> yeah. We got a frumpy voice here. Frumpy. As well as yours truly. Hey, Gramsci. Hey, Jay. Hansel. 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 Hi, Hansel. How are you doing? Where's Gretel? And looky there, we got a JJ's. No, no, no. JJ's. JJ's. Nice. Kilt wearing fellow. And Meister Brower, the wood one. The wood one? <laughs> Okay, moving along. Print! It's in print, so everybody can read it. Unlike some children that don't know how to read cursive. It's it's in code. It's in cursive. 
twice. You know, I actually read something about cursif is for the is the language or the writing of the dead, which yeah. I thought, oh, well, that's interesting. They taught us all cursive in school. Yeah. They're no longer teaching it. What does that mean? I don't know. In well, <laughs> don't don't make me guess. What the hell does it mean? You brought I it up. I'm not going to. I don't know what it means. I wonder why they don't teach cursive anymore. Possibly because everybody's on their freaking tablets. Oh, we can't use pencils because they use wood. And you might get lead poisoning and God knows what else. <laughs> in any case. <laughs> we also got a Rob Wikes in the chat. Hey, hey Rob, Rob Wikes. How you Wikes. doing? Bubbles. Trust no one is also in the chat as well as oof. Oof. -ta. Uh-oh. You know, I got Willy Wonka songs. Oh, apparently. Hey, Miss Vanna White. Vanna White. Letter turning box. Oh. Our LM channel. At, duh. Uh, hey, oh. duh. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, ah. We got a weather dork that's closely following Vanna White because I think weather dork's got the hot from the I, I do, I do, I do. We also got a woodman here. Hey, that's a double dose of uh, Meister Brow woodman mm. there. Yeah. For those of you that don't know. Oh, Moosey's having audio issues. I hate uh -oh. when that happens. I know. Damn it. I'm an audio We got a issue. phantom in the chat, too. It's a phantom. It's a phantom. And a cakes. Hey, cakes. How you doing? Dude, it's the cakes. I took a whole bunch of pancakes down to my mom last week when I went to stay with her. Yeah. Man, you thought she was in hog heaven. Every time she got the nibble, she'd just go get another pancake. Oh, okay. Just nibble. She ah. loves, she loves pancakes. So, well, and she says I make the best. So, Just like I grow the best cucumbers. Wow. Go figure. I know my. <sighs> we the got a DT sixty six in the chat too. That are as important. well as a Chloe e -E -E, who's closely followed by a cyborgian noodle that may be touching Chloe e -E -E, and that's why she's got the big E on the back of her name. <laughs> Uh -oh. I am Steph. It's the end uh -oh. of the world no. as we know it. Again? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was telling everybody about that before the show in the chat. Yeah, see yep. how you are. I you forgot. For oh, it, and so yeah. the universe said, okay. Sure. It was all my idea. Blame me. Wow. Oh, Moosey said she don't have audio issues. Okay. Erky derky I don't know. You're the one I that said either. it. I, I see a frumpy here, too. Tio Twaki, Tio Twa, hi ha, mm. okay. <laughs> uh, no sprechen Sie Deutsch, no speak the Spanish. Okay, Flasher, did you just go? Did you just go bye bye? No, you didn't. You yeah. must have gone. What? Okay. Why? 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 I I click. Oh yeah, because I was letting you uh, entertain yourself with your hello. Sometimes I like to interrupt you when you're talking. Sometimes I know. I, don't. I know you do, but I got to put this out there. Mm -hmm. This this is vital information uh -oh. for the public to beep, know. Beep beep. Red alert. Red alert. Dun dun dun. The CDC. I don't know if I want to do the dun dun dun, no. or if I want to hear an angel choir. Oh. I'm mm. not real sure which I want to do. But the CDC says. Yeah. No Thanksgiving activities, no gatherings with out-of-town relatives or Black Friday shopping. You mm. filthy breathers, you. <sighs> and what really oh, pisses me the fuck off is that people are so stupid that they're allowing this. And they're encouraging it. Not only are they the ones that are allowing it, then there's other idiots, even worse than those idiots, like me, that just allow it. I don't go out there and go, hey! Put a mask on, you filthy fucking prick. Oh, Moosey said everything <sighs> is canceled. That must be what they mean by cancel culture. Oh, and Cakes just said the whole thing. Okay. What, 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 what? What? Okay, know. where was I at? Frumpy! I don't know. Hey, Frumpy. Hey, Frumpy, you bastard! Oh, sorry. We got a kiss in the chat, too. Mwah, pucker up, baby Cakes. And Matt, WJ2002, Mr. Snick, Snack, Patty, Whack, Give That Dog a Bone is in the chat, as well as the Papa, 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 Palm Sauce. A smart ass. He's the best smart ass bot in the whole wide yeah. world. The holiest Roger yeah. ever. Well, Holy hello, Ralph. Well, did you want up here? Hmm. She just. Oh, I see what happened. Say, hey. 
And to round out the crew, the one, the only, the Z-Pix. Yeah. Okay, Rascal, come on, get on my lap. Or are you going to just hang out on the desk? My cat decided that she needed to be on my desk. Isn't that, She's isn't that fucking amazing how, how they do that? They just I do... I know. It's like just from... It's like zero to 60 in point three four seconds. And I, I've even seen cats that kind of obey commands to a degree. But they're still cats. Well, yeah. <laughs> so I never really expect them to come through. It's weird I how, cat- I, how I see cats. I think Cake's just got the L out of there on your name. Uh. Yeah, but I I did that with Cirque once, too. She was trying to make a joke using my my real name and then my my phony uh, radio name. And I come up up with Fahash instead of (laughs) taking the L out of it. I said, okay, Uh. it's, I guess, Fahash. (laughs) Get the L out of there. Get the L out of it. Yeah. You know, that's, that's kind of why them British people talk, because they drop the H. Oh, there's there's no British people left to talk. Those twats in England, fuck a bunch of pussies. Like like any other country, right? Like this Denmark shit going on right now. Fucking hoax of the century. And these fucking politicians are, instead of you know exposing it for what it truly is... And saving their constituents, they're playing along with it like it's real. And whether it's out of stupidity or loyalty to your party, you can go fuck off, you fucking hand jobs. <laughs> so that's so what I finally, you know, that's it. That's, I'm done with this. I'm not done talking about it. I'm done. Like there's no decisions to make from here on. You know, I'm not on the fence about nothing. These fucking cocksuckers in politics need to be shot. Well, you what? know, I keep thinking this loyalty to the party stuff. It's you just my heard party me. and I'll cry if I want to, which, you know, lots of these political parties, yeah, when they yeah. send the bill, it's like, <laughs> fuck you. So, damn fly. Well, okay, if you look at the shit that people allow in the bigger communities, not the small places, the big cities, the shit that's go- gone on in the last 70, 80 years. <laughs> you know, it, oh, longer than I've been around then. They've they, poisoned, they, they, fuck, they've poisoned the fucking water in some places to the point it's not drinkable, and that's not even an issue in, in the American uh, media. The quality you of your water, what, I was ranting. Do I, I know me? you were ranting, but yeah. my kitty cat was really, really rubbing up on my microphone, so I was wondering if you could hear that. <laughs> no, it, it's probably the cat's trying to get your attention and purr, because that's what, you know. Oh, yes, she is. She you know why they do that? Why? why? With their intention to, when they purr, they're comforting something, maybe you, maybe themselves. But it's a, it's a soothing uh, action from the cat. It's actually a very healing vibration from your kitty cat as well. But I think the clawing shit is when they they're horny and they want to have you know sex. No, the claw when they're kneading the bread dough, that is a comfort thing. It's like you know, it's like suckling. Fuck that. Kneading, so when they're kneading the bread dough, it's like oh, yeah. I'm a happy. Yeah, kitty. well, hang I'm on. I'll go get you a loaf of bread. Get off me. <laughs> <laughs> no, Passola. <laughs> But you know th- this cat is so smart that he doesn't do that on my. He does does it on the carpet, and only in oh. certain places in the house. And I get get to, you know, and he wants to do the kneading thing, but he doesn't ever do it on my lap or leg or anything like that. He's really kind of a standoffish cat. He likes to be in control. He rubs me when he feels like it. If I go, hey cat, come here, he's like. <laughs> Fuck you, Lou. I ain't coming anywhere till I want to. That's <laughs> how the doctor is. It's just the way of the world. Well, you know. Well, as Wayne put it last night, we have two dogs and the cat has us. Yeah, it, and that's something. I know I got a little weird on my ch- my uh my animal, the animal that owns me. So, welcome to the dark table, everybody out there in Radio Land and such. Because today we're going to talk about, well, I don't know what we're going to talk about, but I named this show The Collapse is Coming, or Is It? And 
that's what I think. But I know there is one. I've I've been watching it for a long time. It's just the way that it happens. This isn't an opinion thing. This is m- just talking about it. And it's so insulting to some people. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> right, but how can they see these massive companies collapsing, <laughs> cutting off food supplies, lockdowns on the population... All these illegal acts from government just bullying people around with a story that's not even true. It is sad. Well, there's a lot of things that are sad in this world, and I just kind of go, okay, if you want to play in that sad world, I'm just going to evolve beyond you, and I'm going to go ahead and do my thing. And it's funny, my world looks an awful lot like your world, but my world don't have sad, whiny asses. Oh, you, come on. I'm Jewish. It's part of the territory. It's like my heritage. Know, yeah, Jewy. Yeah. yeah. Don't take my heritage away from me, white girl. <laughs> what? How you try to oppress me? <laughs> well, you're you'd be the pasty white one out of the two of us. Physical. That's true. Side by side. Cuz I've got true. Yeah, I've got a big gray streak in my brown hair, but I'm still brownish. Color, the hair coloring, eye coloring. But the skin is kind of weird. It's like not white and it's not, off, it's like an off white. Because Cirque glows in the dark white. She's Scandinavian. Yeah, and I'm just copy paper white. So, you know. Actually, well, I used to say I was tube sock white. But, <laughs> you know, after so many times of washing them, tube socks get a little dingy. <laughs> There you go. I never thought of that. Wow, you're a genius. You are smart. So you know what I was reading about? I'm smart. <laughs> I'm going to post a link that I was reading today. And uh, Do you want to read? We haven't had any link reading for a while, or do you want to just talk about the, the link? Haven't had any link reading? No. We haven't read a link on the dork table in like two or 3,000 years. So. <laughs> oh, at least. So I was reading this here link, and it caught my attention, and I thought, hey, maybe other people would like to hear about this kind of crap, because it's amusing to me. I believe the whole thing is a big hoax. None of the things being reported to you, the way they're reporting to you, are happening the way they're telling you. That's all. Oh, well, that's, yeah. Okay, which means, in the end, that, wow, we've been fucked again by another story that wasn't true. Some parts were true. How they were told to you, that was where the lie comes in. Oh, yeah, people died, but they didn't die of that. They died of this other thing that we made in the laboratory. No, you fucking idiots. That's not what happened. They didn't die of the obvious thing, you know, like a motorcycle accident. No, no, no. COVID-19 strikes again. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. Because it is it is so freaking amazing, I tell you. It's amazing. Well, you know, there's links from people that will claim to be doctors. Eh, maybe they are, maybe they're not. But they say the same thing I do, which is, nah, we're being fucking lied to. Mm. And mm. one of the one of the most famous kind of quotes in history is about, you know, it's easier to convince people of bullshit than it is to prove they believe bullshit. Yeah. Well, that's been since, like, forever. I said that, right? That's been a truism, but, yeah. yeah. Okay. Because you can fool some of the people some of the time. You can even fool all of the people some of the time. But with a with a hoax like this at this level, you can fuck everybody all at one time, and that's what these pricks in politics are doing. They're hurting their own uh, people that voted them into power, and they're fucking the people that got them there, and they know it, and they're pretending they don't. Yeah. Now, if I'm wrong, <clears throat> Trump will die of the coronavirus, and if I'm right. Trump will be uh, recovered in about 10 days. And he'll have used a hydroxychloroquine. I hope I said that right. But it's it's an old remedy. 
that really does shit for this particular uh, respiratory infection. It's not a COVID. Oh, Christ. How do you explain it? <laughs> He's got the flu. Okay, there okay. you go. He's got the flu. It may be the Hong Kong flu, but he's got the flu. So, and you know, you wanted to know if there was something to read mm-hmm. for today. Yeah. I do have something to read, but it's a it's a Facebook link, so I don't know that how well it will. What well, you can I, don't I, know if I can I, I can share it over, but I can read it to you if you want. Yeah, but I opened up this Facebook joke this morning, and only one guy couldn't open it right away. Finally, job of fine. He said at first it wouldn't open. So the the stuff that goes to the RLM, you can uh, open that. Uh, it, like me, I'm not on Facebook, but I can still open on Windows. I can still open those, uh, the ones that aren't third party, where they're collecting your data, because they censor uh-huh. those here. Yeah, if, if there's a third par- party uh, collecting the data here, they they won't put it on on the internet. Ah. So. Well. But yeah, post away and start reading there, little Missy, and we'll get the show going because we've been fucking okay, around well, for twenty this is minutes. Called the logic of masks. Oh, okay. You know those those facial coverings. And you're posting it Some, on the RLM. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. There you go. I'll get it from there then. Thank you, dear. <clears throat> yeah, welcome. Just gonna get it now, over there. Take so, two on the. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, so, uh, you ready? Yes, I'm. Oh, okay, there so, it is. Let's go out to eat 2020 style. Number one, arrive at restaurant, take mask off mirror where it hangs every day when not in use or being laundered. Step two, slip it on, trying not to ruin the hairdo. Magical anti-germ barrier engaged. Step three, proceed into restaurant, opening door with same handle grabbed by 200 people so far today. Step four, Hostess has immediate seating for your woke party of three. Walk past entire restaurant of unmasked people because it's okay. They're sitting. Number five, sit down, seated anti-germ force field engaged. Step six, safely within your anti-germ force field, remove mask. Browse menu while making relaxed inhales of same recirculated AC air previously inside the lungs of 200 people that also grabbed the door handle. Step four, waitress drops off drinks barehanded. Step, or was it step seven, excuse me. Step eight, drink water with your bare hand, sip leisurely, secure in knowing you're within your anti-germ force field of seatedness. Step nine, too many drinks, need to pee? Don the magic anti-germ barrier mask as you leave your anti-germ force field of seatedness. Step 10, walk past 40 unmasked restaurant patrons, open bathroom door with same doorknob grabbed by 100 other people so far today. (laughs) Step 11, return to table past same 40 unmasked restaurant patrons. Step 12, remove mask. Once again, safe in your anti-germ force field of seatedness. Waitress takes your sweaty drink glass with her bare hands and refills <laughs> and hands back to you. You accept with your bare hand. Grab some bread and eat it. Same hand. Yum, yum. Step 13, meal complete, mask on, walk past 40 unmasked patrons. Make full body contact with at least four people waiting at the hostess stand as you squeeze your way back to the door. No matter, they're all wearing their magical anti-germ barriers. Step 14, (laughs) grab exit handle, which you are now the 220th person of the day to touch. Eating out successful. Breathe in sigh of relief knowing that even after leaving the protection of your home and venturing out into the scary world of the public, you are essentially sterile thanks to your state-approved methods of magical germ mitigation. (laughs) But wait, there's more! (laughs) Yes. There is. There For just nineteen ninety five, I'll bend you over a table and show you the good side of the Jew. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with people? I'm so disappointed, Mary. 
they might as well just bend over a table too and go, hey, Mr. Jew, uh, are you finished yet? Well, they've engaged them. They won't, they won't cut ties with these fucking Jews. The ones in the politics. I don't, I'm not talking about average Joe walking around that just born into this shit. I mean these hardcore freaking religious nut jobs that know that's how you control other people through religion. <laughs> it's amazing. Bunch of it is. dumb asses. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Move to Mars? Come on. Uh, no, no, they're still working on the terraforming up there, so I don't want to move to Mars. And can you imagine the people that believe all this crap about Corona Bologna, touching and uh, airborne and every fucking other way? You can catch it through uh, daydreaming. You can catch it through listening to your favorite song sung by a live group to give you the Corona. <laughs> it's yeah. fucking... Com they're... Okay. Those and who are in the population that are tolerating this kind of shit need their heads fucking examined soon before they fuck it up for everybody. You know what I think is totally messed up? What? And and it really, I think, have you no shame, people? Hmm. Have you no shame whatsoever? Apparently, <laughs> and I don't know if this is an optic thing for the camera or if it's an optic thing for the professional sports aficionados, you know, those that are playing the game and getting paid to do so. Yeah. All these cardboard people in the stands, is that not oh, something wow. out of freaking Twilight Zone, creepazoid kind of shit? Well, Ooh. no, no, because, see, I think that the, the players are still playing. So if you're used yeah. to watching it on TV in the first place, what the fuck difference does it make to the person watching the game if there's a real crowd there or not? They're watching the game. And that's what I think. Uh, uh, I, I see all these cardboard cutouts, and I think, <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Okay, who are those for? Are they for the players so they actually feel like... Cause Oh, I don't, I don't know. I watched about 30 seconds, and it yeah. was on the Twitter feed, and I actually yeah. watched it for about 30 seconds and went, this guy's actually waving to the cardboard cutouts. Wow. Just have it. Hell. Yeah. Bunch of showboaters. Come on. They're they're entertainers. What what is what is so well, fucking important to society about an entertainer? You know, sports know figure, what? comedian, politician, religious leader. They're all you know, they're just entertaining you. If you believe the shit that you're looking at and you're, the shit you're hearing, you're taking it way too serious. <laughs> see, and I just, every uh, time I see something like that, I just what? go, good God. Just told you you're taking it too serious. No, you're the one looking. So if it got oh. you like that, you're taking it way too serious. It's I just, just think it's sad. I think it's wow. very sad that they have to have. And then I, I saw something, hmm. uh, a snark thing on Twitter. Because, you know, they kicked Babylon B off Twitter because... <laughs> the satire in their content. Oh, yeah, they, oh you know. fuck! In any case, okay. <laughs> I saw That's someone funny. else being satirical about it, and they yeah. posted a headline about uh, tragedy at a baseball game uh, when a cardboard cutout of a person got hit in the head with a foul ball. And I thought, okay, it's funny, and yet it's freaking sad. It's freaking sad. You know, because do these are these people really deluding themselves into believing that? Well, that cardboard cutout, someone paid to have that card. Who paid to have a freaking cardboard cutout of themselves in the stands to start with? Who is that freaking moronic? I'm sorry, but that's like, I'm there in well, cardboard. Do you but know? I'm there. I bought my season tickets. I'm there in cardboard. <laughs> but do you know it would what? help help you with your present problem, Miss Mary? What's that? Pot. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, if you smoked a bowl of weed in about five, maybe ten seconds, you would give two shits about the how they play or what they play or where they play or that they play. And if they do want to play, it's got nothing to do with me, so I don't give a shit. I, I'm not entertained by the sport. I'm not entertained by the people that do the sport. But I am entertained by is like the... Uh, 
the TV shows that tell you that while this guy played a whole season of football, before the season started, he committed a double murder. <laughs> so he played a whole fucking season of football on TV with millions of people watching him, and they, had, and they, they were uncovering this double murder he did. <laughs> Yeah, well, that oh, got me. But, I was interested in that. <laughs> but Well, and the only well, reason I see any of this shit is because as I'm scrolling on Twitter, I mm. they have these sports things. Is there a way where I can block those damn things? Ask well, Grimnir. Like Grimnir, red alert, red alert. We're having a dork meltdown on the dork table live. For your listening well, entertainment today, <laughs> I understand the frustration. You know what? Yesterday it happened to me uh, when yeah. I was I stayed up late last night. I was doing a little partying, I suppose, but I came on the computer because I was done with whatever else I was doing. And uh, I had I, when I'm gonna shut the thing down, it says Windows wants to in, install something. And Grim sat with me one day and took his time and he cleared off a bunch of shit that was interfering with good performance of the computer so i see this re- installing updates nonsense and i panicked you know and oh crap grim i'm feeling paranoid you know is it anything important because it's telling me to you know why maybe tomorrow you'll you can look at it he goes now nah, let's do it now and get it over with but windows is so intrusive it sh- does shit that you tell it you don't want it to do and then it just finds another way to tell it to do it. Uh huh. <laughs> oh man, like politics yeah. or or religion or or school. It's so man, Mary. Yeah. Well, it didn't work that time, so I, I think pattern. we're we'll just reword it and try it this time. Oh nope, didn't work that time either. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> you ever heard of a back door? Uh oh. Yeah, I heard the doors sing about that when I was in Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Oh, see? Well, change your name to Ben Dover, because no. we're going to use the back door. Ouch. That do- yeah. That don't sound so bad around these parts there, little missy. <laughs> da 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 I do not want to change my name to Ben and I am not from Dover. Well, so. sadly, though, all the opposition and resistance to whatever shit these government fucks are uh, stuffing down our collective ass, throats, or ears, or whatever. I <laughs> got lost in that one. Anyway, the people that seem to uh, be resistant to it are the older crowd. Well, maybe because the older crowd lived through some other shit that they're going, hey, wait a minute here, didn't we just live through that shit? And we said no thank you? Mm. But, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. So why doesn't average Joe get in the long run? You know, if you can't look back at, say you're 60 like we are, right? How can you Uh not look back at the history that we've experienced and realize that your input into it is fucking worth nothing? These people don't listen to us. They do what they want and punish us for not doing it. So oh, yeah. where where does the leadership come in? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Burn this well, fucking that's... shit down. And get rid of it. This is what it means. Not more of it. Well, they keep saying it's leadership, but they're not leading anything. Yeah, they are. The they're, Democrats. They're are... lording. It starts with an L, but. It's not the same thing. They're the Demo- lording over us. I heard that. I heard that uh, Democratic vice president, little missy. I'll take her word for it. She she looks like a bitch that would shoot you in the face, and then claim that you tried to rape her, so she shot you. See, no, I don't like her, and I I like women. Ooh, women's are my favorite, but I don't like her. So I'm something. I don't like Hillary much either. Maybe a little bit, because she's got big balls. Fuck. Oh, I thought it was her cankles. No, that's Vinny that likes the cankles. Okay. Well, I just think that a woman that's that fucking strong has got to be worth talking to for five minutes, if you can survive it. Uh, I mean, i got to okay. admit, I'd like to at least, you know, to have an opinion about somebody I don't personally know pisses me off. I, You know, then I go, well, where do you... How do you fucking know 
that the person that you're being told about is the person that did what you're being told about. <laughs> I've seen too many movies, you know, to believe any of the shit that I hear or read or, or see on a movie or a TV set. Nah. It's, uh, eh. It's debatable. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Well... I'm going to judge my reality by my experience, not by the experience that other people tell me they had. What's, that's stupid. You know, That's like talking that's, about... That's, what? Oh, Froggy joined us. Hey, hey I am Lone Frog. Well, you I was going to... That's like electing someone to represent you. That yeah, I was going to say, it's like talking about your personal sex life in detail to a crowd. Like, who, what? Are you fucking serious? But yet... When I was a teenager, other kids were like that. 16, 17-year-old wanted to talk all this bullshit. You know, I didn't. Well, you know, and most of it was bullshit. Mm. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I would assume. I got me some. You know, even though I... she's still a virgin. I got Ouch. me some off her. I worked her over ten ways from Sunday. Uh-oh. Really? Wow. Still intact here, dude. Well... You know, in California now, a, a virgin is an ugly eight-year-old. Yeah, they, I think I've they heard lowered that. they lowered the consent layer, um, law. Uh, law, the yeah, the age consent law is now eight. <laughs> that way, everybody's included. <laughs> ah, we must be inclusive. <laughs> it's a fucking yeah. mess. The system we, have. you know, we're, from where one place to the other, it's all a bunch of bullshit anyway. Well, it is what you allow. I've been here where I sit for years, and I've never seen anybody get physical with anybody out in the street. Now, when I was in Scotland, I lived there for two and a half years, and just about any time you went out to a bar late at night on a weekend, Friday, Saturday, somebody was bound to get punched in the face. And these people all knew each other. It was insane. Okay. And then here I am, yeah. and here I am coming on seven years in Denmark, and uh, I have yet to see any violence. It's weird. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a, uh, people argue, you know, but not not to the point of anybody punching anybody in the face. Just roostering around to you know put the the bad guy down, make sure he stays there. You know, because when you're drinking, we act crazy when we drink. You remember those days? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Hey, you know what I'm really getting irritated with lately is I keep seeing links of Australia and England and America. And this line keeps coming up. The ver I'm going to read it to you. Follow the rules or go to jail. Not the law. Okay. The rules. And they've got people compliant to this. And then they've got the Karens out there enforcing the rules. And wait a minute, fuckers. <laughs> hey, why don't you enforce this? <laughs> anyway. No? Not interested, huh? No. Oh, okay. I it, heard Karen. No, I said, I'm language. talking about following the enforcer's, you know, orders. The rules must be followed. What rules? Masking and all. This, who come up with all this horse shit as far as you have to? Uh, no. But yet, they're, we're, as collectives, we're putting, this, putting up with this shit. And I'm, I'm embarrassed. It's like, oh, fuck me. You can't. You weren't this sick before this fucking story hit the newspaper. All of a sudden, you need a mask to travel. <laughs> What's wrong with you? you? You got cancer? Don't give me the cancer. <laughs> Wear a mask. <laughs> Never mind. Well, yeah. And, you know, anything that's so dangerous that you have to go and get a test done to find out if you've got it. Yeah, that part is really irritating. They're forcing you to, to be tested for the most deadly virus in the history of the world that you might be having, but nothing, you, we won't even see it. So, and then you'll give it to somebody else that we won't even see it. <laughs> so, yeah. there's your threat. The it's so obvious. The just 
the threat of something that could happen was enough to convince populations to go along with this absolute stupidity. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And it's it's amazing. You start hearing stupidity from multiple angles, and and it's like, wow, it must be true. Everybody's saying it. No. But that's how it works. No. That's how I communication don't. works. And then, then they got us with this TV. And do some research if you don't believe this stuff, because TV's not good for us. <laughs> it's really not. They don't call it television for no for nothing. Do some research on the words. Tell lie vision hmm. and tell lie vision programming. Yep. Yeah, well, Mary's done her research. She's convinced to see it in that light. I've I've searched and researched and and now I'm I'm re researched. But I I found myself addicted to the movies of the like the fifties and the forties, sixties, seventies to see how they guide us all to believe all this the crap that we believe today, <laughs> going to the moon, <laughs> all this other horseshit. You know, you're gonna you're gonna get a shot to build an immunity to a disease. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, they got Yeah, because I mean, it, it did take them several decades to convince people that you must go to the doctor and have something that has neurotoxins in it injected it into your system because your immune system that's worked for hundreds of thousands of years just ain't up to snuff anymore. <laughs> and so you got to go to the doctor and get this shit injected into you. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh -huh. what, you know what I'm not looking forward to? What's that? The results of all the help from government to the people that they helped over the last, ten, what, since March? Those yeah. those results, the results of the mask and the lockdowns, the shit that hasn't surfaced yet. Ooh. It's going to all surface at once. They're going to call it the COVID wave number two or something. They'll report, you know, the reports in the news will be all that blown out of proportion, exaggerated crap. And it'll be true. It's the COVID, but it wasn't what you thought it was. It, <laughs> well, they'll say it's due to COVID, but they won't yeah. tell you that actually it's due to yeah. the asinine mandates you put out there. Mm -hmm. By the way, mandates are not laws. For those of you that wish to know, they are just edicts hiding under the color of law. Yet the cops so. will still act and enforce. They're enforcing fucking rules, not laws. This is We're being fucking scammed. It's that simple. Well, Either you believe that or you don't. Of, well, it's yeah. all part of the dumbing down of yeah. the education system, which is why it has evolved into the educraption system. Are you calling me dumb? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that the public educraption system has been teaching shit for years. Oh, you know, there's links on the on the uh, YouTube, or there were. I don't know if they're still holding up. But there were links by uh, Esserbet about the dumbing down, purpose dumbing down of the public through the American oh, school yeah. system. And other countries. It's not just America that's getting ringed. Any place you have this standard uh, learning bullshit, it's... Eh. The things they're teaching people are just insane. Just garbage. Well, yeah. And, well, you know, if you read um, Andrew Breitbart's Righteous Indignation, he documents when a lot of, with the current education system, when a lot of that started, and it was a lot longer ago than most people realize. <laughs> so... Well, right Bart knew what he was talking ah, about. Ah, yeah. Okay. Which is why he got taken out. <laughs> That's what happens, yeah. The bigger you get, the hard, yeah, the faster they want. Hey, shut you up. Bye. <clears throat> well, I think it was a multi pronged warning to the people because, mm -hmm. from what I understand, um, Orson Bean was his father in law, and he was one of the few conservatives out there in Hollywood, but he wasn't an outward conservative. And it was kind of a way of letting people know. This is what happens to yeah. conservatives. Yeah. This is what happens when you speak against us. <coughs> Let this be a lesson to you. Why threaten Another people? Part of that public education. See, why threaten people and, and make it put it on the record somewhere that you said, if this happens, I'm doing that. 
Instead, you just do it and let people make up their own answers about how it got done and why it got done. You know, yeah. certain things were so purposely controlled, like the Manson thing. I don't think the Manson right. thing was real. I think that was actors and actresses playing a fucking part for the TV. That's what I've come to believe. Wow. What? Well, mm. Manson was a frustrated musician that couldn't make it in the real world, and he met other people that he just wasn't talented enough for them to promote him. So maybe the cops made him a deal. <laughs> Why don't you follow this script here, son? You read pretty good. No, <laughs> he said he was uneducated. But yet, he was the mastermind of this multi-murder bullshit thing. And then <laughs> some of the people were seen after the murder. So, hmm, makes me wonder. Uh, yeah. And it wasn't it kind of cool that, uh, what was his name, the movie director, uh, the husband? Roman Polanski. Yeah, he was a freaking child uh, molester. He was hiding out somewhere at the time of the thing, I think. Or maybe he was just away. <laughs> or it was before he got caught. For what he you know, did to the kid. He was away for business meetings yeah. for a new movie, What They Say, yeah. and left Sharon at home alone. But she had friends over, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Did you ever see the pictures of the living room of the murder scene? Uh, yes. Okay. Have you ever been into a home in the Hollywood Hills? I have. No. Okay. I have. The furniture did not look like that in the houses that I've been in. <laughs> so, hmm. no, something is wrong with the whole story. I mean, it looked like a like a second-hand used sofa, you know, in a big mansion. Nah, people don't don't do that. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Of course, I'm I'm going by you know my experience right now, but. There's a lot of really nice, big houses mm -hmm. being built down where my mom lives. Yeah. And what's crazy is they have these great, big, beautiful houses with a little bit of a yard so, you know, you don't have to mow too much and fancy schmancy cars. Mm -hmm. But none of them have drapes or blinds or anything like that on their windows. And so you can see... Even as you're driving by, there's very little furniture in those places. Yeah, but... People I, are living mm. in them, but very little, because they can't barely afford the house payment. No, 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 Hollywood Hills are expensive. You don't... And they're... No. Nah. I used to... I used to work with a guy in uh, San Fernando Valley. He'd pick up contracts in the Hollywood Hills. I went, wow, this is unbelievable. Those houses, no, they're pretty nice. So, I don't, I just don't buy the whole set. It just struck me as odd. That one well. particular picture you see with guys coming out of the building pushing the gurneys, right? Well, they're not uh -huh. cor they're not coroners, they're cops. Wait, wait a minute, why why are the cops doing the medical work? What well, that doesn't make any sense. Because there's well, protocols. Way back in the day, maybe no, 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 no. I don't know. No. Nope. I don't know. I wasn't there. Right. Exactly. I'm looking at photographs of uh, a crime scene, and I'm comparing it to the area that that's in. That's that's in that neighborhood of places where I've actually been, and boy, the houses looked a lot better than that. So, kind of got me wondering. And then I've seen. Uh, I lived with uh, medical people for quite a while. And there's protocols in the uh, the order that things are done with medicine, with trauma medicine on the road. They they're a lot tighter than a hospital. Well, yeah. Handling dead bodies is uh, it's you don't do the cops don't handle the dead bodies. So it just struck me as odd. What the fuck? But I saw the picture and the guy's wearing a, just a dark suit, no coat. I went, hmm. So, whether I'm right or wrong or not isn't really what's important. What gets me is that it's so obvious to everybody else, and I have questions. <laughs> well, 
I, 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 I am getting so damn jaded. I don't even, mm. I don't trust anything out there anymore. I have to. It's like, if my gut starts going, eh, something ain't right there, then odds are something ain't right. And I, most of the shit that's out there anymore is like, nah, nah. This is, uh, this is, this is made up shit. See, that's all I'm saying is. If you look hard enough at something and find a flaw, there you go. That's what you're looking for. So I'm looking for flaws. So I find them. Now, whether they matter or not, is ah, that's just chatter. We're just killing some time on a radio podcast. But I True. thought it's so easy to just put something on the Internet or the news or whatever source of uh, info people use, and they're so easily convinced about this is the way it is. No questioning it. And I I just like to go. Hey, what if they're lying? <laughs> yeah. What if? What if? Okay. Yeah, it, never here, trust your lying eyes, you silly person. Believe well, what we tell you. I see in an interview about Charlie Manson and the guy that's supposed to be Charlie Manson, and he's got about four inches of freaking face hair. And I read the other thing that's in that year that that was supposed to be done. In California, you can only have a half inch of beard. They were regulating every fucking thing. But yet, Charlie Manson, he has all the... Wait a minute. What's wrong here? <laughs> okay, do you want to get close to Charlie Manson with a sharp object? No, I, I I'm don't... I'm putting that out there. <laughs> I don't... I, I never saw anything to fear. He, he's like a comedian in, in, a, in a movie, like an actor. You know, I know somebody that... That's an awful lot like him, even with the, you know, what he was portrayed as being just a little on the off kilter side. Yeah, I actually met someone in real life like that. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I would not go anywhere near that person with a sharp object. Right. I wouldn't and, go near them with a blunt object. And yet they, the public was convinced that he's a cult leader, you know, a cult leader. Of what? Oh, and his version of it was, I just gathered up runaways and people that society didn't want any fucking way. And that set the stage for any story after that was, okay, we're hearing it. See? Mm -hmm. if, if it was a group of church-going um, Jesus freaks, nothing would ever came of it. They would have been acquitted. Yeah. So they had to have hippies and see this is a mathematical equation that they needed in night from 1967 to 1969 la was a freaking mess you know yes because uh that springfield tune bob uh, uh what is that hmm. buffalo springfield they did a tune in 67 uh and it's about la it's about the riots and shit that was going on at the time and the police in 69 were so hard on the freaking teenagers, they had a curfew. It was horrible. So it's hard to believe that this isn't just part of the story to justify the shit that the police were doing. Yeah. Have you ever seen, I, have you ever seen a movie with Ringo Starr in it? The guy was not an actor. Let's just say that. No, he wasn't. But I got to tell you, Caveman was freaking funny. Okay, but it didn't and stop. When I, when I showed it to my grandkids, they they especially loved the part where Dennis was it Dennis Quaid, yeah, was peeing and it came out in ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Low brow humor, but what? Well, the hell? yeah, but you killed my you you killed the the point I was trying to make by being entertained by the uh, the idea that I came up with. Should have picked a different actor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you should. Oh, all I mean is, Ringo Starr himself was not a good actor, but no. it didn't stop him from trying. He had, you know, he had enough following as a Beatle to at least bring a, a a little bit of an audience to see what what they made. Frank Zappa, there's another terrible actor. <laughs> Just so when the guy told the truth, he was really good. He may have been a terrible actor, but he was funny as hell. He was weird as hell, but he was also extremely brilliant. Yeah, so, well, for a while there, Ringo was promoting this Corona hoax from England. Getting a lot of airtime on the YouTube. 
being pushed on me. And it's like, wow, I almost lost a fan there, Ringo. <laughs> but, you know, people are in positions of uh, power where they have a following. They're, they're instructed on what to say to their audience. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Ringo's 80th birthday and people were fucking wearing masks and shit. And stop. Nah, fuck you. Are you people nuts? So they were promoting, you know, doing this COVID-19 crap through Ringo Starr. And I thought, oh, you fucking, how, well, I might never listen to your music again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just, well, it's hmm. like, what's his face? Is it The Rock? I don't that know. That came out the other day and said he was in support of Joe Biden. <laughs> and I thought, oh, dear Lord, dude, seriously, the steroids have gone straight to the brain. Well, what's the and difference in in Trump or Biden? They're both failed fucking idiots. The country couldn't. How? What worse crap can anybody do to it at this point? There's nothing left to fuck up. Please. Nobody That's here not, wants to visit you know, America anymore. Huh? I'm hearing that from my peers in town. Don't tempt wow. nothing. But don't. you know, it's like, like. You know, saying it can't get worse. Don't tempt worse because they take it as a challenge. <laughs> what else could you fuck up? Oh, What's there's left? nothing left to fuck up. Oh yeah, hold my beer. Watch this. Like what? Give me a give me an example there, Miss Tough Guy. I'm not tempting nothing. And I'm not <laughs> worse. Are you putting out I'm, the love vibes? I am. I am sitting here going. I am not going to put that energy mm. out there because I don't want to hold my beer. Watch this moment. <laughs> So there. Okay. Besides, I don't have that. I mean, I have a pretty vivid imagination, but <laughs> I don't have that bit of an imagination. Okay. Well, there's still. Wow. You got to remember, you got that luxury of the country, the quiet life, and the city. The city folk that you don't live amongst, they're going to have a different kind of time. I think. Even here, in oh, Copenhagen yeah. is way different than where I live. Yeah, I. Uh, I had it explained to me. Apparently, my my nieces seem to think that that if you are killed trying to defend your property, you know, because you actually came out with what would be considered deadly force, and you wound up getting overpowered by a mob and killed, you deserved it. And it's like, what? Wow, you guys really honestly wow. believe that? So if someone were to come to your house and try to harm your parents, because you know a couple of them still live with their parents, even though they're 20 plus and you know you're not going to defend your parents and you think your parents deserve to die if they try to defend their home wow wow something's really messed with the wiring inside your head hmm. it's sad that it has it hasn't croached its way into my family oh that's yeah. what uh, scares me is wow wow well you know what I had uh, Democrat relatives. I still do. I just we we don't communicate anymore. And I have Republican relatives. So I don't know what the fuck how politics what what it's designed to do. In my opinion, is to destroy the family, get people against each other on on big ideas that don't affect them. You got nothing to do with you one way or another. But let's get you to fight your wife about it. Fight your wife? Well, yeah, yeah like being... You... Okay, I'm, I'm going to make my point. Let's okay. say that um, Denmark goes to war. And uh -huh. Cirque is anti-war. And I'm like, uh -huh. fucking yeah, let's have some fucking war. I'm American. I can get into this killing shit. That, <laughs> okay, now, I'm telling you right now, that, that could kill this marriage. Oh, yeah. That's but what I I'm can't saying. see you going out. All oh, right, right, right. I realize that. But there are other people in the world besides me and Cirque that are married that are on opposing sides of that issue because of the way they oh, were yeah. indoctrinated. Well, it hasn't yeah. hit them yet. Wait till it. I've been making jokes about welcome to Palestine for years. Wait till it fucking physically happens in America somewhere where it gets televised. You'll see it. It's unbelievable. And they're doing it. They're just not reporting it on the news so that P 
people in one state don't know what's going on in the next state unless they it's something state approved to tell them. <laughs> all the news places are all the same. They got scripts. They're reading the fucking same thing word for word. That's not news. It's spewage. Pretty much everything out there is spewage. Me and Rob are pretty similar, wouldn't you say? Well, our political stands, the way we see the societies and such. Yes? Mm, well, I know Rob is a very much a fuck em all kind of guy. Okay, well, I'm using the radio <laughs> program we do together as I a know. point. But I know. I think that me and Rob agree a lot of the time. We just say things in a different way. We express it different, but it means the oh, same yeah. thing. Yeah. He just says it one way, and I say it a different Larry says the same thing, but in a different way. So we got three people kind of agreeing about something, and it's very strange. Because usually you get three people on a radio show, and somebody's raising their voice, arguing a point. And we don't seem to do that. Hmm. Me and you do it, but me and Larry well, and Rob yeah, do it. Well, yeah, because it's fun. Well, I know that, you dork. Good Lord. <laughs> Why would you come back and be a co-hostage at the dork table if it didn't give you a giggle? Come on. This isn't about being right or wrong or anything. This is about talking for a little bit, being trying to be entertaining at some level. Not a fucking status bore telling everybody else how voting for Trump is a wonderful thing or voting for Biden or whatever the fuck it is. You know, we don't care about those things. We care about who owns the color blue, baby. I own the color purple. Just ask me, I'll tell you. Own. People in their fucking own. It's insane. <laughs> well, if I've got a bruise, hmm. I own that bruise. And unfortunately, I have a tendency of bruising myself quite frequently so therefore i own the color purple and also that ugly yellowy green as it's mm. starting to heal <laughs> oh yeah isn't that so something there. though we we've got all this natural shit right but we were numbed down and and it was ignored so by the time you find out about it you, you think it's a story that ain't true you can't eat a eat a fruit and a vegetable and get bitter, that's a bunch of nonsense. I gotta go down to the doctor and get me some pills. And there are those among us that have been convinced of that. You know what that reminded me of? Mm -mm. How could I, I know? The other day. Ooh. Intelligence is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting it on the, in a fruit salad. Oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah, but see... I saw that and I went, hey, but we, I'm not only intelligent, I'm wise. <laughs> we, were, we were trained to think of fruit as sweet, as children. Yes. That's the idea they give you. Like, strawberries are not sweet. You need to sweeten strawberries. But here we are. See, and I think strawberries are sweet. I guess, see, and there you go. It's taste. a matter of taste. Yep. And everybody tastes things just a little bit differently. So, there you go. Oh, she's she's agreeing with my reality concept, finally. Ah! Trapped her. I know. Check it's me. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> no. No, Mary. Okay. We, we just explain the same thing from two different perspectives. That's all. Because, yeah. you know, the gender split is very large on the dork table. I will always be the kind of man to recognize the boobs. If you got boobs, you're not a man. You're a woo man. There you go. A woo woo man. Yeah, and all that, you know, um, what do you call it? When they value system people, oh, this person's so great, now fuck that one. I don't use gender in that. Some people are just cunts, period. And other people are just fucking not cunts, period. And there's no way I would ever think of certain people as being cunts then there's other people i can't not think of cunt when i see them <laughs> see, and that's where that acronym for I'm cunt funny. really really comes in can't understand normal thinking see you know what i'm talking about 
Uh, yeah. uh, uh. Plus, it's a cheap shot way to get that dirty word out there and say it aloud on the dork table. Without yeah. the Mexican accent, it is so fun. Ooh, cunt, 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 cunt. <laughs> <sighs> cunt, cunt, cunt. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> well, you know, see, that's what I mean. Is our indoctrinations, whatever they were, we all got one, and it, it softened some areas and it hardened other areas. Some people you can say shit to and not think twice about it. And you just leveled them, made them feel horrible, and got no idea that you did. And other people, you can say the worst fucking thing you can think of, and they just laugh at you. <laughs> yeah, it's it, how they receive it. See? And, yeah, it's between two people. It's not a group thing. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to play group thing any fucking way. On the Internet, in an individual setting, you're going to be convinced that you're in a group something wrong with that idea wow i don't see a group i'm looking around the room i don't even see a cat in the window i well there he is never mind i see my cat now. is two a group oh. or is two a set hmm. it's a pair. <laughs> we're a pair me and the doctor are a pair to draw to you know the ball is cat and the gray-haired old guy <laughs> <laughs> yep all righty, that's, that's drawing to a pair, all right. Okay, I, I was just carrying on because bad words is a matter of opinion. It's a matter of conditioning, you know. There's no such thing as a bad word, George Carlin. Bad intent, maybe. But I can call somebody a completely clean, acceptable word in the wrong format and make them very upset with me. So what is a bad word? Hmm. Bad word. Well, fuck is considered a foul, foul word. Foul, you filthy mouth. Cock doo doo head. <laughs> mm. But, you know what I mean? Where you can mm. say jibber jabber that's intended as an insult, and then nobody's insulted because it's not foul language. But it's still, it's an insulting comment. But hey, he didn't say fuck. <laughs> Word. You know, and birds are foul. So uh, I, squat, that's squat. where my mind went. Word Weirdo. games. Word games. Mm. You know, sometimes some words are just very good at shock factor, if nothing else. Like what? You know, like fuck. You know, oh, okay. Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. You no, know, it's a shock factor word or shock value. Depending on your surroundings, where you're at at the time you use the word. Too. And, you know, some people, they're exclamation points, or they are punctuation in some way or another. I know some people that use that word like a hyphen between every other word in the sentence. Yeah, fucking no, fuck right, fuck, 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 wow. And I'm like, dude, hmm. wow, I'm impressed with your vocabulary. Ah, you're able to throw that in there, every other word. And I actually almost kind of sort of understood what you were saying. Oh. Basically, because after a while, my mind just bleeps it out. Because, yeah, you overuse anything, mm -hmm. and people start droning it out. So, oh, I don't. There's so many words out there that, oh, my God, I can't believe you said that. I'm, I know people that you're not allowed to say shut up in their house. Mm -hmm. Shut up is a bad word even though it's two, but you're just not allowed to say that, or you're not allowed to call someone stupid. So, Right, because... I think it's, I think it's all personal. Exactly. It's your, your conditioning to, you know, whatever you're conditioned to. It, and I don't think there's a one-size-fits-all. People are triggered by different things. And some people play the game. Karen plays along. She's not actually mad at anyone. She's being allowed to act a fool, but doesn't know it. Yeah. Well, okay, but if she knew she was being an ass, she would think that you were lying to her and still do it. That, that's how damaged Karen is. Yes, definitely. Okay, my opinion. Karen does not see her hippo crazy. No, no, absolutely not. Not capable of it. Because Karen is not smart enough to know 
that Karen could be wrong. <laughs> Stupid people do not have the ability to make a mistake. Smart people do. Stupid people are embarrassed to admit they made a mistake. So they, no, no, that wasn't me. That was somebody else. Blame, 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 blame. So in my yeah. opinion right now. I am not mistaken. No, nah, right now we're being led by people that are just fucking lying with every breath they have. And I'm going to blame yeah. it on the financial collapse that they're covering up. They don't want the public to be aware of it until they've changed over to the the future uh, card that's going to entrap people. We're already mostly on it. What this good, this big change is just going to update us because we're already on it. If you're using banking cards, but if you're using cash, try upgrading. Or if you don't have a smartphone, they're going to fuck us somehow with cash where we can't use it. I know. But well, I blame it. Maybe that's not going to push a lot of people into the barter system instead. I hope it backfires on the on the big guys and they cr they get crushed under the weight of their own greed and end up with nobody to sell to. Because that's what it is. It's a they've taken control of the food supplies and the power supplies, all the things that we all use, and then they divvy up the smaller things amongst their buddies. Now they've got this COVID thing and they they wiped out all the single people that were just doing it for their own. And now all that's left are the six big corporations to choose from. And fuck, we're going to be fucked in five years. Yeah. And I don't see any opposition to anything. Everybody's just all worried about this fucking stupid hoax COVID and if they're going to die or not. Well, you know what? People fucking die. Get over your goddamn self. You egomaniac fucking wad. That's what I think. Oh, man. What? Egomaniac fucking... You know, as you were going on that rant, it's yeah, like, holy that was fun. shit. What? My, my Twitter refreshed, and this is perfect for that. Maybe it's time for everyone to start wearing ear masks to keep us from hearing all the lies and fear-mongering coming from the media. And that, to me, that just... That fit perfectly what you were going on about. I could be I fear mongering in the opinion of a weakling. Oh yeah. Because you know some people see the truth as the fear mongering and the lies as the savior. Those are usually the voters. You know Biden's going to save this idiot. You know Trump's going to save that idiot. And if you can't look at the last four years of Trump and figure he didn't stop any of the shit that happened from happening. So what kind of leader is he? Well, he's a Jew leader. He's a banker. We were fucking lied to. We're still lied to. And if you believe Trump, wow, or Biden. He is then. a Trump card. He is a Trumpeter. He is, he is. This is Trump. bad. I'm, oh, man. And if that's the, the choices in 2020, two mentally ill fucking psychopaths to choose from to be the POTUS of the fucking, uh, well, what was once the big, you know, the big cheese on the block, now you're not so big. You know, there you go. Uh, it's bad. Ooh, uh, well, lots of decisions in other countries I've lived in, besides the one I'm in, were made based on how much American money are we going to get, like the drug war. You ever notice every every time they declare a war on something, we get more of it? Well, did you ever think that maybe that was the fucking purpose of the whole thing? Because if you do a little reading, you'll find out that when Abraham Lincoln put the United States as a country under martial law, he was assassinated <laughs> before the country was lifted out of martial law. So what they did was they just avoid talking about it, and they put in a clause to continue martial law. The United States, as a government, has to declare war every two years. As long as it's a war against something, it's a war. And as a result of that, the American population, and this has been proven through Boston, when they had that uh, Boston bombing crap and the, and the military uh -huh. came in, 
and went door uh-huh. to door searching for fucking people on American soil. They were uh-huh. breaking more laws than me smoking a pipe in front of a church. But it's still, see? Yeah. Well, there you go. It's big performance rights, laws. No. you got people with guns and tanks, and they're going to do what the fuck they please. So don't live where there's guns and tanks. You probably make it. Good thing I don't live where there's tanks. There's guns around here, but I know who owns Yeah, them. I was clear. No, 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 no. I'm saying they go hand in hand. If you don't see tanks, then there's... No. Nah. But if gun, there'll be guns with them, with the tanks. Hmm. But we were taught as kids, the United States does not attack itself. And here we were in the bombing thing, and there they are on the television going down Boston streets, military fucking tanks... Door to door, knocking on people's doors, going in and searching their shit. Looking for a, an invisible, maybe, that could be, could something, maybe, almost. No, 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 no. Where do you go with that shit? I mean, it just never ends. So we've got a whole world population filled of all these people that have no idea what the government is allowed to do by the people. So they go with what they saw them do on the TV. Well, I've seen it. It must be okay for them to do it. Wait a minute. Let's take this to court. See, then you keep the lawyers paid. Mm-hmm. And the Jews are just sitting around a big table laughing, 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 laughing. Hmm. It's a mess. And you can't, you can't explain it to too many people. They do not know what a Noahide law is. They don't know that half the damn U.S. Senate has got dual citizenship with Israel. (laughs) So, guess who they're pledging their allegiance to? Hmm. But yet, yet, here we sit week after week, and I read on the Internet chat about the country, the United States. What are you fucking talking about, United States? Where's that? (laughs) Well, a lot of people don't realize that the Pledge of Allegiance was written by a socialist either. So. It's my whole argument all along is that we're, as children, till your adulthood, you're lied to by the most of the people that you speak to. And the, the average guy that speaks to you and lies doesn't even know he's lying. He was raised to no. believe exactly what he's telling you, and you, whoever you may be, <laughs> may doubt it. But goddamn, if you question these people about their own uh, status beliefs, they can't really explain it back to you. Outside of, this is what you got to do to survive. And that's the opinion I have anyway. If you don't play, then go live on a mountain somewhere with a bear. You know, fight for rabbits to wipe your ass with. Because they're so fluffy. Because... That's not reality anymore. Now we're in the 21st century. We got phones and shit, you know, important stuff to do. Yeah, Radio podcasts. Shit. Well, come on. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. I we're, not, we're not half, and plus our age, we're not half as tough as now as we were when we were 30. Fuck's sake. Huh? So, what? Ah, go away, oh. Quit, quit, quit making me cry. What, what, what? What? You know, I saw I saw the funniest link. I'm going to post I posted it like for everybody personally this morning because it was just so damn funny. And, uh, uh-oh. I got a thing. Let me cancel that. Oh, there we go. But it's a 33-second link from Facebook somebody posted on mine this morning, I think. And I thought, holy huh? shit, I'm going to, well, I'm going to post it in the chat. I don't know if I could put that in the notes or not, but if I can, uh, I will, because it's funny. And it, what it is, is this guy gets pulled over by the cop, and the cop is exchanging with him about uh, his opinion on this vote for Biden sticker. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. And it could have been a prank or, or something, or it could have actually took place. I don't know, but it's funny as fuck. And it's only like half a minute. 
So I recommend it to my radio people out there uh, in RLM chat that are actually listening to us bullshit back and forth, Miss Mary. No one you. Well, I was considering um, giving up my thinking for myself and making my own decisions. Crap. I was thinking of becoming conditioned and joining a, one of the uh, political parties. Oh, really? Yeah. Sure. I don't know how many mushrooms I'll have to do to actually acquire the ability to make the transformation. <laughs> but the thought did occur to me. <laughs> Because, you know, hey, if you can't, you, either you're with him or you get him. And I'm thinking, hmm, what if I pretended to be with him <laughs> and joined one of their evil gangs? Ooh, hmm? kind of hmm? like playing hmm? with reindeer gangs, huh? Well, what if I pretended to be a Republican, but I joined the Democratic Party? I don't have a history on paper of being political from any particular side or anything. So, who would doubt my word? But, in reality, be a spy for the Republican side, because they really had my heart. But, I'm sabotaging the Democratic Party. Watch this shit. What do you think of that? Hmm. Would you vote for me if I was promising you the moon on a cheese Ritz cracker? No, no, no. No. Ah, stop it. You're hurting my feeling. Ugh. Sorry. I want to be no, a politician, Miss Mary, and run the world like Dr. No. What do you think? I'd be a good I'd be a good mad scientist, I think. Just need to learn some science. Hey, I know what I'll do. I'll get a front man, see, that does know science, and I'll tell him to use my name. And we'll split the profits, <laughs> just like Bill Gates or what's his name. <laughs> Anybody that didn't inherit their money, <laughs> they're a front man for somebody. Because you don't get in that game unless you're invited in. Well, that's true. And I think Gates, I don't think Gates' daddy was what one would consider poor. No, he's a Rockefeller. Yeah, no, Gates is related. Yeah. That, that guy's in the blood. I mean, look at his faggy fucking hands. Just like a, what's that guy? Trump. Trump, for such a big fucking man, he talks like an old Jewish woman. I can't believe that people followed him to the White House. He's, it's disgusting. <laughs> you know who's more disgusting than Trump? Who? Creepy Joe. And his child sniff. I don't know which one I despise more for what, but I've narrowed it down to is their personal uh, behavior, public behavior about young girls and their own female offspring proves to me that neither one of them is worth a flying fucking toss for anything. I wouldn't want to know of either of those two idiots in real fucking life. What for? So I could go, oh, yay, you just sniff that girl, you pervert. Because I would. Uh, yeah. And then Trump, Trump and his... I would have to go, God. Wow, I've got two daughters that are grown today. But, man, this guy was talking about boinking his own child, the other idiot. So joking or not, or what, that is just sick to me. Sick fucking behavior. It's not even funny. It's funny when you're talking about somebody else's kid, not your own. Then it's like, wow, you crossed that fucking line. That shows you how narcissistic this prick truly is. Because a, a normal man would never consider a thing like that, let alone say it. That is the mind of a sick fuck. In my opinion, not yours. Mine. I'm speaking for me. Like Bullwinkle. <laughs> hey, Rock, watch me pull Joe through a tube. <laughs> Again? Ooh. That trick never works. <laughs> well, nothing yeah, up my sleeve. <laughs> wow. Oh, and you know what? All these punishers out there in their prisons, and I've, I've thought of a brilliant way to punish the political parties. But it's going to take some time and some work. Now, what you do is 
I guess you just have to convict them in a street court of law. Take away all their rights like they do to us. Just do it back to them. <laughs> and then give them light sentences. 30 days, you've got to survive on the streets of whatever city. But you're not allowed to communicate with anybody or get helped. And we're going to be watching the whole time. If somebody tries to help you, we're going to shoot them. And you know what? You would clean up in about 20 minutes. Yeah. The political party. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, just like if they had what? There's a movie about it or a TV show or something on Netflix or whatever. Yeah, Netflix. Hmm. But, um, you know, if you just had open season one day a month <laughs> on, like, politicians and oh, media person, and once you get rid of them, you know, which I'm thinking first month, you'd get rid of all of those self-proclaimed, <laughs> and then you could go after, you know, something else, but, eh. Yeah. Then I think, well, you know, if somebody else was in charge of making the decisions, they'd probably put me on that target list, and yeah. eh, let's not go there. So, Well, you know, you know what really got me today about this writing crap is people were convinced that this was done for a reason that doesn't make any sense. So what I came up with is somebody paid people, they instigate the things that were done, by out-of-control mobs of angry fucking people that wouldn't have done anything if they weren't instigated. But there was a spark to it. Somebody pushed it. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. Well, it's as yeah. though the, pop, the public wants to just act like nothing happened. You know, it might not have happened where you live, but, wow, it happened somewhere. And when... Societies break down. Bad shit happens, like food supply lines get cut. Manufacturing yeah. get, takes a shit. Blah, 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 blah. So I did a little thinking about all that and came up with my collapse theory, which does not attract any attention. People do want not want to agree with that. So, hmm, I don't know. I'm kind of stuck in my uh, stubborn stupidity, and I'm thinking, oh, when they reset the funds, then that'll be the proof that I was correct. But which will be first, the selection of the U.S. POTUS or the collapse of the American dollar so they can re replace it with the world currency? And, you know, issue, you're only going to be able to access shit if you got a card. So they're, they're slowly putting us in this position, whether we like it or not. Oh, I know. But, you know, it's just like the New World Order. Everybody keeps going, the New World Order sucks. Mm -hmm. It's this, it's that. Okay. Perhaps their version of the New World Order mm. sucks, mm. balls, yeah. but does it have to be their version? Can we not come up with our own World Order version that's new compared to this old, tired, mm. tyrannical version that we've had for how many eons? Mm. Mm. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't always have to be a bad thing. I mean, I see lots of, mm. you know, it's just like with technology, there's an awful lot of technology out there that can do absolutely amazing things for human beings. Unfortunately, there are some that take it to the dark side. And they're the ones that make the big moolah moolah, which is what they say makes the world go round these days. But is it really moolah moolah that makes the world go round or your belief that it does? <laughs> there you go. Wow. That's what I think. I think it's all a matter of your your personal uh, training and indoctrination took you down a road that you believe is true. And it's your road, so how can it not be true? It's just your road and my road are not exactly the same. So true. we come up with, hey, wait a minute, I don't see it like that. And it gives us something to talk about on the radio. It's the way I look at it, because you see the same thing I see. But your definition of it is from an optimistic side, and yeah. often mine is from a pessimistic side. Because to balance, that's what you would say. That's how you judge this. Me, I'm just talking about how I see it. I don't feel I'm guiding the mood anywhere. Or, uh, but I probably am. Okay. Don't well, have to be aware know. of the things that you do. You just got to do them. Awareness is a level I've yet to completely hit. See, and 
Mm-hmm. You know, when you're saying you're pessimistic and I'm optimistic, I yeah, kind of I look think at that so. as you you got your two polar opposites, <laughs> and the truth is somewhere in the middle. Middle, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and, well, it makes it kind of fun to talk to you, too, because if we were just always, oh, yes, Miss Mary, I agree with you 100%. I've never heard it said any better. All the time would be kind of a drag. It would it get would old. So... Calling you a wackadoodle country bumpkin that's thinking out of her nipples once in a while seems, <laughs> it's funny. That's only when it's really, really cold and the the turkey <laughs> pop-up timers are, which you need to be careful <laughs> around me then because I could cut glass. <laughs> Boob just, jokes. Boob jokes at the door tip. See? Yeah, well, you I, know, I know you appreciate a boob joke. Every no- matter and difference. Well, you know, there's times when men are boobs. As well, it's just a different kind of boob. You know, it doesn't hurt anyone to be a boob. It's just stupid when you're a boob. You know, it's like a, it's like the way that people have been treated to to judge. Hey, she's not wearing a shirt. Why is it a big fucking hoopy goddamn deal? Because you've been told for your whole fucking life it is. So what are you going to do when you see a a woman without a shirt? You're going to act like an idiot that's never seen a woman without a shirt before. Oh, well, yeah. Doesn't that sound like society? You know, that's what they do. They encourage these ignorant behaviors within us. They bring them out to the surface on purpose, making things banned and taboo and don't do this and don't do that. Some people really believe all that horse shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What I mean, crying out fucking loud, what is... Oh, well. Maybe I'm just old enough to not give a shit anymore. <laughs> well, we've got, a, we've got a world of... Some people in the English-speaking world are living in lockdowns and uh, all this COVID shit. Australia, America, Canada... You know, and I keep seeing that Australia stuff, and I know Mm. I'm not there to experience it. But it's like, okay, you got four or five guys that come after one person. Or you've got a crowd of people around, and one person isn't wearing the mask, and here comes four or five guys, or six, to detain the one that's maskless. What's with the other ones? You know, why can't they go, wait a minute here, that could be me. What the fuck? And then everybody, which is like 20 against 6, why doesn't everybody stand up and go, okay, we don't we don't like that she's not wearing a mask, but we don't like what you're doing even worse. So, y'all are going to cut this. Sh- I, I feel bad for them that they're dealing with that right now, but I also feel like, all right, you guys, quit expecting the United States to fix your issues because y'all need to pull up your big girl panties and your big boy tidy whities and deal with it. You got a bunch of little mini tyrants running around. If you don't like it, stop it. Stop it. Not enough. It's like my, my daughter calling me from Colorado and saying, well, my daughter is doing this and that and the other thing. You need to help. And it's like, what hmm. can I do? I'm four and a half hours away. What can I logistically, rea- realistically do? Mm-hmm. Nothing. Ouch. Deal with it. Damn. The mom, deal with it. <laughs> Same thing with Australia. I feel mm-hmm. bad. I feel horrid. Yeah. And it's like, God dang, because Mary B lives down there. I don't want to see that shit happening to her. But they're reporting yeah. that the majority of the people that they, whatever count, bean count, Approve of this shit. Now, what, this is what they report back to us. Yes. So what they report. Right. Yes. So it's like polls in the United States, their polls are better for dancers. Yeah, they but don't the, work for shit when it comes to anything else. Okay, the script coming out of Australia is far more entertaining. You, you just got to learn how to appreciate it, Miss Mary. It, it's it's yeah. it's like a, a a human nature they're trying to develop when you feel smug. Because you don't have it as bad as those poor pricks over there. <laughs> so so here they are reporting all these horrible things, but they're claiming, because they're the ones telling the story, so how do you, how do you prove it? Yeah. You can't yeah. come in the country because you could bring us the COVID, and we're going to tell you all this, that, and the other. Wow. That doesn't sound like any kind of freedom to me. 
And apparently, the story goes that English-speaking countries all over the planet, people went and fought and died and did this and that and the other to never live the exact way they're living right now. See, and I just, I see it as they're turning it into a penal colony again. That's the way I see it, so. But the the uh, old, uh, the older people were the ones that did the conquering and the and the work. And oh, the yeah. people in power today, the younger ones in power, are going along with this freaking uh, COVID torture. And I'm confused about why would you want to destroy your own population? What are you gaining from this? What, or are you, have you been threatened like the, the premier of that guy down in Australia? He looks, wor- he looks horrible. And he never speaks. He's always, I don't know. Who made this decision to do this that I don't recall? It's what he says all the time. Yet, they report back that the public loves him. He's just handling this COVID so well. They can't tell you how good. And yet, there's no economy and people can't go anywhere. So who are they asking the question to? <laughs> yeah, The guy that's got his fucking job and still making a half a million dollars a year, he's going to be happy as fuck. They're probably asking those with the tangible mask. And that's, you know, that's something that occurred to me earlier today. What? You know, they keep telling you, wear your mask, wear your mask, and... And I got to thinking, you know, maybe it's not just this physical mask that they're making everybody wear. Maybe it's the fact that people are growing up and realizing that, you know, I don't have to wear a different mask depending on where I'm at. You know, like your personality, if you will, or the (laughs) way you behave. I'm just going to be me. Wherever I go, I'm just going to be me. So there's a lot more people that are going, eh, I'm not going to do this mask thing anymore. So that... Besides the fact that it being a I am a slave to the system kind of thing, you are just reinforcing the mask. The mask that you wear at home is one. The mask that you wear in public is another. Take your freaking mask off. It's Halloween month. How about you go maskless for once? They really believe the stories. It's, embed- it's embedded in their uh, their indoctrination into speaking. Me, I'm telling you, these movies have got people convinced that an airborne bullshit story is also contractable through touch. Wait a minute. They're two different fucking things in the first place. First off, you got apples and oranges. Second off, if dead tissue, if you inhale dead tissue, it's dead. How are you going to yeah. get anything fucking from it? You have to have dead tissue injected directly into your blood or... Maybe these brilliant fucking scientists found a frequency to open up that makes you susceptible to this shit if you did indeed have a certain shot, like a flu shot. Yeah. Well, they were asking if you had a flu shot in the last 20 years, and I did. Yeah. Mine was in uh, to get out of America to come here, to uh, go to Scotland. But then at the time, it was like, I don't know. I wasn't aware of all this, the reality of all this shit. At the time, I was being blackmailed. You either get the shot or you don't go to Scotland. (laughs) So there was no choice to make. It was either, you know, piss off everybody or go along. So I went along. But hmm. Yeah, it's an extortion thing. Yeah. Fully tactic. Yeah, but this has been since 2011, so it's nine years so far. But see, I'm in the right age now to expect in 10 more years for something to break down. I mean, I had enough America in me. (laughs) You know, I drank the water and I ate the same fucking shit food everybody else did for quite a few years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the damage to me was done. But it's, you know, not it's not developing as quickly in me as it as it has in others. You know, where I'm physically incapable of doing shit. Might be lazy, but I'm not incapable. You know, go, nah, I don't want to do that right now. But, oh, I can't do that. No, that's a different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think so. Because, well, my neighbor passed away last Tuesday. 
of the cancer he had. And, of course, being an American and being a hippie-looking pe person, uh, I wasn't in a position to offer him medical assistance when he had cancer, when he you know, was diagnosed with it. Explain to him why he's got it. Wouldn't have listened. Yeah. Well, I know that from other experiences speaking to him. He spoke English good enough to make sense and, you know, carry a conversation. But that medical help wasn't going to be one of them. Because the state has people convinced here as well that the only way to cure cancer is their way. Yeah. Well, I think their way killed this guy. And the COVID, oh, yeah. whatever the COVID truly is, it is not what what they're telling us it is. Bats fucking in, some bat fucking in, you know, in China and... The next thing you know, they they ended up in the soup, and then then it got into the laboratory. Get the fuck out of here with your stupid stories. I mean, Bible thumpers think like that. Hey, I hear that in the background. That's cool. The yeah, phone. The phone. I know. Sweet. Da 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 da. <laughs> anyway, we're <laughs> we're at the dork table for fuck's sake. What do you want? What do you want for free any dance play? You know what I mean? Well, hmm. my little my brother just younger than me is yeah. down at mom's this weekend and he is posting pictures. He and mom are apparently going through pictures. I'm not the only hmm. one that does this. Yeah. He's sharing pictures of when we were little. Oh. And so everybody's going, Oh. Yeah. I I was I had children. I know what that's like. Children are fun. They really are. And then they grow up and it's all over. Live their own life. Yeah. Well, Make their own decisions. Yeah, but you got to remember their their decision making process is guided by their female mother. So they're bound to side with mommy. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. well, I had those marriages in America where the the children were used as, you know, Weapons against me. <laughs> yes. And yeah, it you was know, terrible. It, it doesn't just work. Mommy's using children as weapons against daddies. It gets worked the other way around too. Trust me. Right, but I had the good taste to never tell my daughter a bad story about her mom in her life. But what I, what did happen that fucked everything up is I got was out drinking, and I. Told everybody, I don't want any phone calls. Leave me alone. And sure as fuck, phone call comes through. And I get the phone. And I'm go oh, man. And as I'm getting the phone, I'm saying something derogatory about my daughter's mother in a drunk. <laughs> and my yeah. daughter heard me say that. And it was really bad. And uh, the next thing I know is, hey, fuck you, Dad. <laughs> so... We've been on bad terms because of an opinion I shouted in a drunk when I tried to tell people to leave me alone. <laughs> See? So they always know how to help. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sabotage is subtle. Uh, you don't even uh -huh. see it coming. You know, and, and the, the person that sabotaged me had me played for years, did a lot of damage. But, you know, it was a slow kill. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as, as you live your life, you see it one way, and then as you look back at your life, you could see it a different way. It depends on how you feel about it. Because it's all subjective to your state of, you know, your mental state, how you feel, ways that balances your life right there. So I believe through the food and the water and the electricity and the politics and the religion and all this social garbage. They try to keep us as on edge and uncomfortable as possible. So we'll always be fucked up and not capable of learning anything important. Hmm. It's easier to control a group of dead-ass losers than it is to control a group of hungry monkeys. Yeah. Okay, well... I was raised a hungry monkey, so I learned how to go out there and earn money. You know, that necessity that they took away from most of us recently, 
by crashing the dollar. <laughs> of course, nobody believes it's that, but I do. I think it's all part of a big plan, and it's just playing itself out. And the news is to dis misdirect the public so they don't catch on to the truth. Long as the truth looks like somebody, some nut job out there talking to 50 people, they're cool. The minute that they get an audience, fucking them up. <laughs> audience. <laughs> Look at that Alex Jones guy. Over oh. the years, he did say a lot of good shit, but he was selling pills. So that tells you, uh, wait a minute. You know, the guy started out one way, but he ended up another. There you go. Well, and I, I can't handle listening to Alex Jones. His voice just, uh. There's some people that, li okay, there's some people that like my voice. There's some people that don't. It's just a matter of personal... T it hits you in a way that you're not aware of, too, sometimes. And some people will tolerate the voice to get the message. And people like you... <laughs> you don't give a fuck. I don't like it. Next! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Took pretty you a long much. time to get there, but you finally made it. I welcome you to the other side, Miss Mary. <laughs> the yeah. I don't give a flying fuck what you think side is... It's hard to stay on. I can't stay on it forever, but I can join it occasionally. Well, there are times when I actually do, on purpose, peek in on, like, MSNBC and MSN and, you know, I can't go to CNN. I just can't. But, you know, I peek in on them, and I even occasionally peek in on Fox, although usually if there's something from Fox, I'm, I'm checking out Tucker Carlson. I could give a shit less about the rest of them, but <laughs> I've, I'm enjoying Tucker right now. But, you know, and I do occasionally look to see what the other side is saying. Yeah. But, man, yeah. there's there's some on the other side that I just flat ass cannot go there. I just can't. Mm. It it just, it's like it's an assault on the few brain cells I still have functioning. They're all going, wait a minute, we're leaving if you keep that shit on. So, yeah, because they, they just lower my IQ just by even listening to them. Ugh. Wow, that's quite the accusation there, little missy. I'm well, you. It, it's, a, it's a sad fact of life. There are some people that when I have to listen to them, you know, like I don't have a way of getting away from them, I can actually feel my IQ points running away. Okay. If you say so, I think you're exaggerating just a tad, but... Oh, yeah. I, I get, get the point. No, no, no. Yeah. I get the point. <laughs> but I I don't see people in terms of uh, intellect. That, like they, We all tr seem to try to portray that. Ooh, look at how smart I am. The way we type, you know, the way we speak, whatever it is. But I don't think it's a factor in, in how I judge whether um, the quality of my peer. And I don't know that I'm necessarily judging their intellect. I'm just judging the, my reaction to what they're putting out there. You do it's it like, your way. I don't way, like the right? way I react to it. I, I don't like this feeling of I'm dumbing down. This so, is not cool. That's judging the intellect. Okay. That's my point. It's is I see my that. Own, I'm not concerned about who's that. All right. Let's go back to step one with me. I'm existing in my own personal reality. That True. I invite you into it co-hostage style, okay? But you're here because, you know, it starts out because I want, I pursue that you're here. So I invite you to, hey, come to the dork table and let's have some fun. See? Okay. Well, if I didn't want to, I wouldn't. I know. There you, there you go. But, yeah, he? Uh, exactly. But what makes a person want something in the first place? Hmm. I think I got way off track of where we started, but I'm a little stoned now. <laughs> I got high through the show. <laughs> I got stoned and I missed it. Oh, the notes are going to be a blast. <laughs> oh, yeah. I Okay, Grimner's making a joke. Flash is living in his own private Idaho potato. Well, yeah, I think, and I believe that because that's what I believe. And if you if you could see my physical reality, 
it's like something out of a freaking TV show. It is not average and ordinary or predictable. It's just life goes forward and you go with it. Through all its weird turns and moods and shit and and you figure out where you're going. It's trial and error, I think. Because there's some things you can't communicate about them. You just got to live them and see what happens. And sometimes they end badly. and People get mad at you for doing the shit that you do, but you do it. It's called living. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck. Well, but I didn't have the guts to try to explain to the neighbor in English that baking soda would enhance his performance because he was still going to that chemotherapy crap where they're killing him. So it was, he was to the point physically where there was no re, re, uh, return. He was too damaged by the help to return to a state of normal again. This is horrible. And this is a big strapping guy, too, about 6'5". And I just watched him decay over about two years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, so sad what the state has got people believing in medicine. It's just heartbreaking. Uh, medicine stepped away from healing a long time ago. Well, Once right. it became profitable yeah, yeah, to keep them coming back for more medicine as opposed to healing them and sending them on their way. Yeah. yeah the worship right. of the almighty dollar. It's not necessarily the dollar. It's the worship thereof. Oh, true. true, true, true. Rob says, I, I live in Mayberry. And it, yeah, pretty much. That would be, the there's never, sh and the shit that goes on here that you would expect to be horrible, nothing comes of that either. The people that drink every day, n never fighting or arguing or just weird. They get along. <laughs> Alcohol, and they get along. Outside. Not one murder, not one murder, nothing. Not fist fights or screaming. And all the people that get off the train got to pass these guys. It's it's just their culture, and they behave differently because of their culture, I think. Where in where I'm from, it would be a different kind of behavior altogether. You know, from the guys drinking. Yeah. Yeah. These, oh, yeah. These people are in this group, and they don't really... <laughs> it's weird. They don't harass the passers-by, but a lot of times, the passers-by know one of them, so the passers-by stop and jibber-jabber with them while they're waiting for the next bus from the train. <laughs> it's just, what a place. Yeah, Mayberg. <laughs> but but yeah. in Danish. So I get the luxury of, I don't have to listen to every fucking word I hear out there. I can navigate through the world without words. It's really cool. I like it. Oh, I'll give well, you an example. Cirque's sister comes over today so they could hang out and play games and do this and that. And they're all day, yakety yak, yak, yak. And then all of a sudden, I hear whispering. And I thought, wow, wait a minute. I don't speak Danish. Why the hell are these crazy women whispering? So I, I realized that the thing to think, because where I'm from, when the women start whispering, they're talking about you. So I went into the kitchen and told them that. <laughs> they go, no, no, no. We were, we were talking bad, but it wasn't about you. <laughs> so it's just weird. Yeah. See, what got me was the silence, not not the loud. It was the quiet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. When you have children, you understand that when it gets too quiet, it's time to go see what's going on. Yeah, or somebody's asleep and left shit on. Yeah, just not real loud. <laughs> no, my children always left things on really loud. Ah, well, really uh, loud. well, I don't know. We're coming to the end here. We got five minutes left. You want to do a little promoting for other people while we're here? Uh, a little promoting for other people. Well, I'm not sure what I'll show because I. Oh, okay. Usually, when I get well. home, I. Tomorrow we got things I need to get caught up on. I do know, yeah. Tomorrow is is Grimmy at noon. Ooh, you at, do know or noon ish. Yeah, noon Eastern. You know time. what you could do is open a schedule while you're sitting there too on your computer. 
Wow, I could do that? I could have done it, but I didn't think of it until right now. Both hands, i got a pipe in one hand and a lighter in the other. And I'm not going to sacrifice for you, Miss Mary. You're on your own. See how you... Total break. Uh, Xander, some of bitches. Okay, so... Okay, let me find my my RLM. There it is. There it is. In any case, tomorrow at noon Eastern time, Grimmy's going to be on. He's going to be playing some blues, blues. for y'all. So that, uh, you know, just in case you need something to do. That's right. And there will be a rousing game of Trivial Pursuit going on in the chitty chat. Problem is, when I finally get the question read, yeah. Everybody else has got the answer typed in about ten times, so it's like, okay, I'll just watch for a while. <laughs> yeah, big old dummy dumbhead. <laughs> yeah, big old dummy. I'm not necessarily a dummy dumbhead. I'm just a slow reader. But oh, I uh, can't type. I can uh, I can do the reading crap, but I can't type. Worth a flying. Five. I'm a mistyper, and you know that spell words wrong. Get the answer, but I can't. Yeah, get that right answer. Can't spell it. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, spelling, schmelling. Yeah. Whoa. That until your magic wand breaks, and then it's like, oh, oh holy okay. shit, I'm so screwed. Yeah, okay, thank you, Miss Moose Girl said, thanks, dorks, because we're at the end of our podcast. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. Where was I at? Okay, just a minute here. You're I've at I've got to find blues. myself. Blues. I need to find myself. Oh. I know I got lost somewhere along the way. Oh, if you only use <laughs> one hand. Case, directly following oh. Grimner is going to be Hal Anthony, who's Hal going to Anthony. open up a can of whoop ass, whoop ass. on yo ass. Your ass. Behind the woodshed. Behind just the woodshed. so you know. <laughs> uh, let me see if this is the one I want. Ooh, the one and I want. And then Monday. Monday. No, that is not the one I wanted. No. no. Damn it. Monday. I hate when that happens. Uh-oh. Well, I know what Monday is because Cirque Well, does Monday it. is, it's all connected hmm? with Grimm yeah. and yeah. the lovely Psycholo. Oh, see. And they make all kind of connections where you just kind of go, whoa, yeah. dude, seriously, that's freaking awesome. Yeah. And then you have Tuesday in a poific world if Flash is feeling like being in a poific world. Yeah, and he I've has been lazy. with me too, but yeah. I'm not on there on Tuesdays because I'm down at my mom's usually. Yeah, then, down at your mom's Tuesday. Let's see, Thursdays at 2 p.m. Eastern time, dropping yeah, in oil. That's right. With Larry Woods and Rob Works and Flash Rooney. And that's dropping a coil, not yep. dropping, pinching a loaf or anything. <laughs> they honestly are not talking to you. They're talking cool stuff. <laughs> it's not until Saturday on the dork table where we talk shit. Yeah, so, yeah, you heard her say it. And, <laughs> yeah, and all week, all week. at uh, mm. 8 p.m. Eastern Time is the Ocelli Effect over on Channel 14. Right. Also, Phil Saturday Chilly. evenings, the Power Hour with Prince and z is at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Mm. And for those of you other late-nighters out there, we also, on Friday evenings, have the Freakers Ball with Grimner and Moose Girl. Mm. That's for those of you that stay up late. Me, not so much anymore, because I get up too freaking early in the morning. <laughs> I get up at the butt crack of dawn, so I can't Ooh. stay up I get up at the nipples of dawn. You get up at the nipples of dawn. Yeah, but okay. like 10 or 11 now, lately. Oh. Yeah. You know, for two mornings in a row, I was up at 526. Whoa. I mean, I would roll over and look at the clock and, seriously, 526? What the hell? So hmm. this morning I thought, shh. Well, actually last night I thought, I'm not setting the alarm because the hell, I'm going to be up at 526. And you know what? what? I didn't wake up till 655. It's like, booyah, I hmm. slept in. <laughs> oh, so, thank you, Dana Venemeter. Uh, I'm somewhat strange. Yeah, so, we got a Dana Venemeter say a thank you to us. Uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah in go any figure. Case, thanks, y'all, for listening into the Dork mm-hmm. Table, and thank you, Flasher, for letting me play along, even though Ooh. I was kind of uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, you never uh-huh. listen when I talk. It, it's just we're do, we just do a radio show together. It's got nothing to do with communicating. Crying I out loud. No, you don't. Usually don't, I go, uh-huh, don't lie to uh-huh, me. Don't uh-huh. lie to me, you crazy bro. I am not I don't listen all the time, but I like I said, I listen occasionally. Well <laughs> I guess if you say so. 
thanks a lot, everybody, and especially you, my co-hostage on the tour table, uh, Miss Gramsci. Well, Mrs. Gramsci now, huh? Say hey to Wayne yeah. for me. Hey, Wayne, you old bastard. How the fuck are you? He's out in the cornfields. It's harvest. I understand. No, I. That's why I just said what I said. So if he ever yeah, hears the show, he'll know that I remember Wayne. That's just. And I will tell him you called him a corny bastard. Fuck yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ! If I call him sweetheart, it might not. He might never speak to me again. So we'll, you know, we'll do it properly. There you go. Well, that's the it. that's the kind of you know the kind of group we grew up out of was. And hey, honey, uh, what are you doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> we play a whole different game. We we talk all nasty and shit. And when she <laughs> okay, I'm getting my shit together here to close the show up. Here, I'm a little slow. Okay, I guess... well, I'm just gonna say, see you, love you, bye to everybody. No, you're not. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm somebody. So You're no. somebody, okay, to somebody and everybody. I don't, I don't want to say that to you. <laughs> you. <laughs> wow. Later. <laughs> I guess she told me where to park it. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs>